Well, you're watching News Central, Breakfast Central on News Central today, Friday, the 12th day of November 2021. Let's start the program with a look at the front pages of some of the dailies around uh, Africa. And we're starting, yes, sir, as we always love to do, yes, sir, in East Africa. And we're starting with the Daily Times this morning in West Africa, oh. Nigeria. That's what we're starting with, Alisa. And the Daily Times has a lot to talk about. And the first one here that we're seeing is hitting us right in the face is an update of um, Justice Odili's home. Odili, I beg your pardon. Now, it says, invasion of Justice Odili's home. Malami Kicks, a suspect, says he works for him. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh. Documents presented during raid on Justice Odili's home Fraudly obtained. This is coming from the police right now. You can get that on page two of the paper this morning. Also on page two, it says federal government to set up security force to man porous borders. That's from NSA. And also you can see on page three, British High Commission congratulates Saludo Nigeria over Anambra's Gubu poll. You also see that. Uh, in the paper this morning and on page four here it talks it's coming from the federal government why millions of nigerian graduates are unemployed you go to page four from the daily times in nigeria all right so we can go to down south that's with a news day in zimbabwe that's another paper will be taken this uh, morning uh lots to, to one, uh, chew on here but uh, the big story talks about the polls a waste of resources uh, says uh, chamisa as uh, Zano PF Acting National Commission uh, 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 Chairperson Tracy Chamisa yesterday said holding by elections uh, barely a year uh, to the 2023 harmonized polls is a waste of time and resources, according to his words, not mine. Find out more on the front page. Also related to Zano PF, desperate to engage Zambia leader, that's on the uh, top right. And also, police boss uh, has case to answer, according to magistrates, that's on page two. And Zimbabwe model, Zim model crown Miss Africa. Uh, South Australia. More on that on page 12 of today's Newsday in Zimbabwe. From Zimbabwe, well, let's head to Kenya. We're looking at the Daily Nation to wrap up the newspaper review for today. Now, the Daily Nation has a lot when it comes to politics with the header that says, it's our time. Who are the people interested in this time? The rise of the youth. Now, it says in terms of numbers, people aged 18 to 35 years are a third of Kenya's population and the majority of voters. Now, you can see this picture here. There's a candidate for different political positions in Kenya. You can see the candidates are coming out for the presidency. Uh, that's, a lot of them are in their 30s, their mid-30s, mm. late 30s, late 20s as well. We have a 28-year-old who is coming out for a member of um, parliament. You also have all of them and their profile here. It seems Kenya is... The youth are pretty, they're ready to take over. It, it seems to be their time as it is. But you can go to pages two, three, four, and five of the nation for more political stories concerning um, the state of situation and the election that is coming up in 2022 in Kenya. Also, page 10, it says, teachers reject health cover, demand change in provider. That's also on page 10 from the Daily Nation this morning. Mm -hmm.